Have you ever found yourself looking at your bank account statement at the end of the month and see that you only have $200 left? Well, today we're going to talk about nine different recommendations to help you save money in medical school. first recommendation today is meal prepping. Meal prepping is something very easy and affordable to do and I love meal prepping. Usually during the school day or during the school year, I try to meal prep on Sundays so I can meal prep for the rest of the week from Monday through Friday. I really enjoy meal prepping because it's an easy way for me to stick to my diet plan, to hit all my macros, but at the same time, I usually save around 50 to $60 a week without having to spend too much money eating out. I know sometimes when we get stressed or we're studying for a big exam, we're more prone to spend money and eat out instead of having to cook something for ourselves. So meal prepping is an easy way to prevent that for us. Our second recommendation is to definitely not eat out, but cook. So we like to cook as much as we can, as much as possible. But of course we do treat ourselves once in a while. For example, if we just finished a huge exam, we like to go out with some friends. We save, we save eating out with friends, mostly. And then finals week, we like to be a little lax about that because honestly, it's really stressful at that time. And so we like to make sure we at least take some breaks and go out and eat a little bit. Our third recommendation is buying bulk. We live as roommates, I have two roommates right now, so it's really easy for me to just go to Costco, buy a lot of things in bulk, and just have that all planned out for myself for the rest of the month to just have food that's very accessible for us. I know some of you might not need to buy in bulk, or sometimes you find yourself spending too much money when you go to a place like Costco, but honestly, when you go to Costco and you buy in bulk, you see that you save actually more money in the long run because now you find yourself having food that's very accessible to you without having to spend too much money going to your local grocery store. So I definitely highly recommend buying in bulk or certain products that you know that you're gonna be eating or using a lot and you could find at your local Costco or somewhere like your Walmart. And our fourth recommendation that's very much related to what he just said is to have a roommate. For me, my first year of medical school, I lived alone and I was in a studio and it was incredibly expensive compared to how I'm living now with the amount of resources I have and the fact that I can share with my two roommates, can buy in bulk. Whereas when I was living alone, couldn't buy in bulk, I was definitely going to a local grocery store paying a lot more money and just wasn't as happy because I didn't have someone to study with. I didn't have someone to motivate me. It's a lot better that way. Also, we can carpool together. Again, saves a lot of gas money. So for our fifth recommendation, I would say apply for a work study. For our school, uh, applying to be a tutor is very easy to do. I love tutoring, that's really easy money to make, but at the same time, it's also a good way to review old material. I find myself reviewing a lot of physiology, histology, or biochemistry with a lot of the underclassmen that I tutor, and it's a good way to brush up for our upcoming boards that are in June. So. I definitely highly recommend applying for a work study because you can honestly work at your own pace and your own schedule and you should definitely look into it. Right, and you can also add on and maybe teach a class that's something that you're passionate about. For me, there were a lot of emails that were sent out to all the programs at our school asking if someone would teach a fitness program, fitness class. And I love to dance, so I decided to teach a Bollywood dance class for a lot of students who were interested and there was also a class on meditation that I taught to nursing students. It's a lot of fun. You're teaching people something that you love and you're also earning money while you're at it. Our sixth recommendation is shopping for certain products at places like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I know if I need something like a facial moisturizer or some lotion or just some exfoliator or something small like that just to take care of my skin or my hygiene, I like to shop in these places because Honestly, they're very cheap and you can find really good name brands at these places. And so you can save probably like $20, $30 on some really high-end brands. So you should definitely check out your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx or somewhere where you can find really cheap products but that are really good quality. Another important thing to consider as our seventh recommendation is to possibly live fairly close to campus. For us, we've just seen out of our classmates that if you live a little too close because we do live in an area that could be unsafe at times, 
It could be dangerous just because some of our classmates had their windows broken into, their houses broken into. So it's just something to consider. Also, we live far enough that it's in a safe neighborhood, but we're not spending a lot of money because of gas. We're living close enough that we can avoid traffic if we plan properly. For our eighth recommendation is to look at probably getting some old books from upperclassmen or finding a PDF of a book that is required for your class. I know for us, or and for all of medical school, most of your classes usually have required text, and not all of these classes you need the most recent edition for these books. So it's really nice to probably talk to your upperclassmen and to see if they can just pass down some of their old books, and that way you can save a ton of money without having to shell out $300 for a textbook as well as looking at some PDFs that are online that are free for some of these textbooks if you like to read your books online. And our ninth recommendation is to focus on loans. Loans are probably the biggest, like big bad wolves of uh, medical school. People are always afraid of it. That's something you want to do immediately, as quickly as you can. Go talk to your financial aid advisor that's part of your medical school. You need to choose between private loans or public loans. Public loans are probably the better option for you, but it's definitely something you have to look into and which loan out of public loans should you be taking. Consider doing that and you'll save a lot of money in the long run. So hopefully these recommendations will help you save a lot of money throughout medical school. I know for us, it has definitely paid dividends for our school year and we're gonna continue doing this. So hopefully you guys can take these recommendations and apply it for your future medical school careers. And hopefully you guys keep in touch with us by DMing us on Instagram at the DPM Journey, as well as just messaging us or emailing us at the DPM Journey at gmail.com. Hopefully you guys have a beautiful day. Good luck with all your studies and we'll hopefully get back to you guys with a new video. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe so that we can get the information out to as many people as possible. Take care guys.